As shark numbers decline, the behaviour of the apex predators may hold a key to understanding global warming and the effect it's having on wildlife. A Kiwi-led team has been bravely catching and tagging sharks to find out what they can tell us. Alexa Cook has this exclusive story. Deep in the darkest corners of Fiordland lurk some of our most feared species. That these scientists are bringing to the surface. You can do it. They're measuring and tagging broad-nosed seven gill sharks. It was a lot of excitement and a lot of anxiety around this. It was the first, kind of, the first trip to do this work, but we had a, such a great team on the boat. Alice Rogers is a lecturer in fishery science at Victoria University. So this is from one of our baited underwater cameras. But twice a year you'll find her in the deep south, working with the Southern Fiordland Initiative. We have to fish for the shark essentially, um, and once we've caught a shark we bring it alongside the boat, we keep it in the water so that it's got water uh, constantly moving across its gills, and then we, we attach a tag, so that it, and the tag is this transmitter that stays with the shark for up to the next 10 years or so. And some of them looked pretty big, like that's quite a task to, to catch them, bring them up and put the tag in. Yeah, up to sort of two and a half metres, some of the some of the females that we caught, which was amazing. But it was really nice to see that they were a very sort of calm and relaxed animal. The team includes scientists from NIWA and Australia. It's an amazing place to be able to conduct this research, to be able to see how these animals respond to the, the warming temperatures. They've tagged 11 sharks with small tube-like transmitters that will collect data about the shark's temperature and depth. To get the information from the tag, scuba divers have anchored 29 of these acoustic receivers on the sea floor. If a shark swims within around 400 metres of one of those receivers, the information in its tag will be transmitted to that receiver. Scientists already know that shark populations around the world have been reduced by fishing, but little is known about the impacts of climate change, especially in the most isolated parts of this planet. Something that this project, funded by the Save Our Seas Foundation, is tackling. They're worried the sharks could be sensitive to marine heat waves, but are hoping they'll find cooler temperatures in the fjords. We don't know. And that's why this research is so important. Is the seven gills are just the touch of the the tip of the iceberg. There's lots of other species which which live in these um, sensitive ecosystems that we know very little about. When you've got a top predator like that that controls all the other animals, if it suddenly goes somewhere else, or even if it turns up and there's more of them, it's really good important for us to understand that. They'll return to Fiordland every six months to gather data from the receivers as they piece together how our warming world is changing this magnificent ecosystem. Alexa Cook, News Hub.